Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. It's Tobago Thursdays, and you know, we open the show talking about container homes. I'm really excited because on the line this morning, we have Mr. Keelon George. He's been trending on social media. You've seen the images going around, and it's time to actually have that conversation and find out what's going on with container homes, how we can get them, I think, as well, and just how amazing they are. Good morning, Mr. George. Welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, we've seen you trending throughout social media, so to be able to actually hear your voice and hear your story is something that we are all looking forward to because there's just something about a container home that it just, it just pushes you. But I have my first question for you, I'm very excited, is we've seen them online, but what inspired you to actually action this and get a container home? Well, I think my inspiration came just like maybe how anybody else's inspiration. I saw them online. I was intrigued. I was, you know, enthralled into it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just try this and, and make it happen. Yeah. You, you definitely have made it happen. And I know in Tobago, now, up until now, a lot of people, they've had additions to their houses with containers, but they haven't actually made their entire home from a container. So what was that like for you? Just looking at this container and saying, okay, I'm going to live in a box. Um, it was, um, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting because, um, it's a test of creativity because, you know, with the containers, you don't have as much flexibility as if you were, you know, building a house. So you really have to be in tune to all of the little spaces that you can use to make the floor plan functional. Um, so it was a challenge. It was, it was, it was very fun to, to accomplish and I enjoyed the process. What was one of the biggest challenges that you faced in this process? To be honest with you, one of the biggest challenges was looking at inspiration online and then making a concrete decision about, okay, this is how I want it to look. Because, you know, as I was doing it, I was, you know, looking at things online and then every, every day online, I'll see something that I like and then I want to implement that into it. And I, it came a certain point where I just had to make a decision and say, all right, this is the floor plan that I'm going with and this is how we're going to execute it. Ooh, we just have some pictures there. It looks fabulous, boy. Oh, is that mm -hmm. your cat? That is my cat. That's one of them, yeah. <laughs> one of them. Okay, great. So for those who are concerned that it may not be pet friendly, container homes are pet friendly. So we know the benefits of living in a container home, but what to you are some of the cons of living in a container home? Look at that. Um, you know, people have asked me that and um, I can't really think of, of, you know, a serious con. One of the only cons is making sure that you insulate the container correctly. So that way you can regulate the temperature. So when it's hot outside on the inside, it's still cool. And we did that with this container. So we have two mini splits in here and during the daytime on a hot day, the inside is cool. Um, and even during the nighttime, when it gets a little chilly, it's still very cool on the inside. Um, so I really can't think of any serious cons because there's a lot of pros that kind of outweigh anything that may be considered a con. Okay, and what about actually um, like challenges, electricity, water, getting all of that installed? How has that been? What's that process that, like? That was actually very straightforward and very simple. Um, just like if you are getting connection for a house, uh, we set this, con this, I set this particular container up in a particular way that if I needed to unhook the electricity and unhook the plumbing, it's just a connection, just one connection. So if I wanted to actually move the container, I can just bring in two trucks and then just move the container. So, you know, doing WASA and doing, you know, um, electricity was, was a breeze. Wow. I like the fact that you can just pick it up and take it with you. Now, that now brings us to cost because, you know, one of the things that we see these days, it is challenging to get a mortgage. It's not cheap. So how much would you say you save on this? Like, have you seen a marked savings on this container home versus getting an actual, like, foundation structured house 
Yeah, well, you know, part of the inspiration of doing this is I, I actually own a real estate company, and I've noticed that there are a lot of people who um, might not be able to, uh, you know, afford a mortgage. So I've been looking at ways to provide alternative, you know, low-income housing and that kind of thing. So this was, uh, you know, a project in that in that direction. Um, as far as pricing goes, um, you have a lot of flexibility with these containers because you can either buy a container for somebody who supplies it or some people know people who have containers and can get it for, you know, for very cheap because it's just sitting somewhere on, on a piece of land not doing anything. Um, and as far as the inside goes, you really have the flexibility because you can do, you know, high end fi finishes or you can do low end finishes. So you can range depending on what you're doing with the floor plan, you can really range between, I would say maybe about 150,000 to maybe about 200 or possibly even lower than that if you do all the work of, um, you know, yourself. So there's a lot of flexibility in the price. And then as we know, you, you know, it's impossible to get a home for anywhere close to that price. Yeah, definitely. So one of the questions that we're discussing now in studio as well is what about the limitations when it comes to size, the size of the home itself? Yeah, well, you know, I think that might be the only con. Um, you know, I think as millennials, we have this tiny house movement that's that's going on. Well, we don't really need a lot of space. You know, we're we're comfortable just being in a in a space that it might be small, but it is comfortable. It has luxuries. It's not to say it's you know it's not luxurious. Um, so you do have that kind of constraints with you when you're dealing with shipping containers. But you can either use a 40 foot shipping container which my house was built out of two 20 foot containers. Um, so you can use multiple containers to get more square footage if you want like more bedrooms, more bathrooms, mm -hmm. or if you have like a family, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things you mentioned is that you can just pick up your home and go with it. So in that case, yeah. what's, how do you lay the foundation for this, if at all? Yeah, so it's recommended to put these on a foundation because you don't want the moisture at the bottom to start to corrode your container. So what we did um, to reduce the cost of foundation, instead of doing a full foundation, we did pillars. So on each corner of the container, there's pillars, uh, and then you just rest the, the container on those pillars. That saves you on cost, and then you also get the, you know, the air underneath the container so that it doesn't corrode over time. Ah, oh, and you, there's another thing that you mentioned as well, and I know a lot of people want to know the answer to this. I want to know the answer to this. You mentioned the fact that this is a project that you can venture on and do yourself. Now, when you say that, you're looking, now, are you saying DIY, or you still need a team to come in and help you and guide you a bit, or you can just jump right in and HGTV it? <laughs> well, I would always recommend a team. Um, you know, we have a team that, you know, have the experience in actually creating this. Um, you know, everybody has different skill sets. There's a lot of people out here who are, are very capable of. And it seems as though we have a little bit of a freeze there with I, Keelan. As long as they understand, okay. you know, create the windows, how to cut the container. I, I okay, think fine. it is possible to, to maybe do the DIY if you have the skills. But if you are just a, you know, a normal person that don't really have a background in construction, then I would recommend, you know, getting a team to, to help you out with it. No, that's the thing. So one of the other things we're talking about now, well, we have quite a few questions for you. As I said, this is a popular topic. So you might have to come back if we <laughs> run out of time. Um, is how much cheaper, but we, we spoke about the cost, right? But how much cheaper is it when you do it yourself as well? Would you say? Well, um, it would be, I would, if I had to give a percentage, I would say maybe about, maybe 25 to maybe 30 percent cheaper because you know you would cut out the cost of labor mm -hmm. um so i would say maybe about 25 percent cheaper okay fantastic and what about financial institutions of course as you know as you mentioned millennials now that is one of the concerns going and getting a mortgage for a house will financial institutions consider this as an investment and say, all right, well, you can go and mortgage to get your container or you need to go and get a loan. Okay, so that is the, the question of the hour. Um, I've been trying to find financial institutions that would be able to, you know, put, put, put forth a loan to be able to help people build their shipping container. Um, I, I think they have some, maybe some reservations about the fact that the container could be picked up and moved. Um, so I haven't really been able to, you know, secure financing 
but that would be great if anybody could reach out to me who you know is in that world that may be able to find a creative way to make it happen for people trying to accomplish this definitely a key question that we are going to need an answer to now another thing i tell you so many questions a container home <laughs> what about weathering the elements how are we or how do you protect your home from these elements i mean yes we understand that they are used to ship internationally but again when it becomes you know um stationary basically what happens then whether you have sea blast um hurricanes because we live in the caribbean all these different things how do you protect it well the good thing about container homes or uh, containers in general is they're very very durable they're made to be in all kind of different climates all kind of different weather all kind of different situations um so you don't really have to worry much about um you know longevity and sea blast and all those things with the containers as long as you put a good coating of paint you may have to paint every few years but other than that, you really don't have anything to worry about. They're very structurally sound. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about earthquakes. You don't have to worry about, you know, um, tornadoes, things like that. Um, they're very durable. Fantastic. I'm glad, good to hear that, especially as you mentioned earthquakes, because in Trinidad and Tobago, I think over the past few weeks, we've been having an earthquake every, at least once a week, I would say. Now, Something yeah. else that I wanted to discuss with you. What about getting approvals? Because one of the things you mentioned is that you can just pick up the container home and you can go with it. So how does it work now getting the approvals to actually have your structure? Yeah, um, I don't have the answers for that because um, the way we kind of did it is um, we built cash. So we didn't really you know, go through the entire approval process. But I do know that they are friendly towards shipping container homes in Tobago. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Is there anything you would like to share with us, Mr. George, before we wrap today's really insightful conversation? Um, I would say, you know, at the end of the day, you know, life is short. If you do see this, this online and you are interested in doing it, I would say, you know, take the leap of faith and make it happen. Um, I would also say, you know, um, I have no regrets. And I don't think anybody who actually creates the container home will have any regrets because you have a lot of flexibility that comes along with it. I can um, agree with you more. Yeah, that, that would be about it. Definitely. And well, we can contact you at O'Neill Realty if we're interested in getting container homes, yes? Yeah, you can actually go to our website, which is O'NeillRealtyPT.com. We actually have some container homes that we are going to be selling on the website. Um, they would actually not be container homes, they would be container offices. Okay. But you can always reach us on the website to get more information and talk to us from there. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Mr. George. Looking forward to seeing more of you and you've started a trend. So I know next time we come to Tobago, we're going to see some more container homes. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Enjoy your day too.